I'm sorry. Well done, Marlene. For a moment there, I was worried you turned coat. Chin up. It's not like she's innocent. These are people who have been properly identified as witches or dangerous to society. No use feeling bad for criminals. They've had their chance, and they've made their choice. Yeah, the wrong one. Are you coming? Yeah, they're going to hang her at the gallows. Should be worth a watch. Um, I would love to, but I actually was discussing something with the librarian earlier, and I'd hate to disappoint her. That old bat. Oh, she's certainly old enough to be a witch. Senile enough, too. I think she'd burn us all to save one page from her precious books. Rubbish, the lot of it. Most don't even have pictures. Good luck, Marlene. You're gonna need it to deal with the likes of her. I, when you're ready to have some fun instead of playing nursemaid to that old spinster, you know where to find us. Ah, you're back. Good to see you know how to be punctual. And you've somehow quieted down the rabble. You have my thanks. Um, it was no trouble, but as I was mentioning earlier, if it's not too much trouble, can you please help me find my brother Finn's favorite book? Finn? Your brother was Finn? Is. My brother is Finn. Death doesn't change that. I knew him. He was a good boy. Well-mannered, something we don't find too much of nowadays. I think I know of which book you speak. The boy was a fan of the dramatic. Wait here. It smells like dirt, wind, and ash. Most people would just leave it at it smells of old books. But I suppose if you want to be a bit of an outlier... Probably a familiar role to you by now. Goodbye, and thanks for your help. No shouting in my library! Excuse me, miss. Spare any change? I'm sorry, sir. I do have coins, but they're not mine to give. My mother gave me these coins for chicken feed, and as she's already quite cross with me, I'd rather not risk angering her further. I'm sorry. Wait! You've surprised me. I ask everyone and anyone that I come across all day. And I've either even ignored or threatened to be beaten like a dog. You didn't give me coins, true, but you freely gave me something far more valuable. Your honesty. For that, I will repay a truth with a truth. There are no witches in Fegafoyer. No more, at least. Haven't been for quite some time now. What? How do you know? How can you be certain? I can smell magic the way a bloodhound can track down a fox. Though, I suppose I have more in common with the fox than the hound. But think of what I've said, child. While there are no more witches, you can create one. You mean, lie? I don't understand. I thought you were advocating honesty just a moment ago. I'm a champion for whatever entertains me at any given moment. Take, for instance, these bells. Something interesting is surely going on in. I think I'll pay whatever it is a visit before I head on my way. I'm sure whatever it is will promise to be interesting. Fare thee well, small child. I'm off to the graveyard. I hope our fates no longer cross past this point. If she really was innocent...
Excuse me? Ugh. What is it? Uh, I have a secret. You don't say. Let me guess. Some silly little school rumor. Perhaps puppy love blossoming amidst the youth. What, did you expect me to drop my very busy schedule to braid your hair and gossip? Tell me, child. Do I look like one of your friends? That's what I thought. Why don't you leave me be and go pester one of your little schoolmates instead? I don't go to school. The schoolmaster doesn't accept women folk as student. Huh. Then go and roll elsewhere or bake a pie or whatever it is children do when they're not being a nuisance. I would love to, sir, but I can't, for I am cursed. By a witch. What witch? Speak a name and I shall see to it they are brought to justice. That's just it, sir. I can't reveal their identity quite yet. I've been cursed to be unable to do so. I need your illustrious help. Doesn't go to school but knows the word illustrious? What use are you to me if you can't identify your tormentor? My family did their best to make sure I had some knowledge of the world. Which is how I know there is a remedy for this situation. My curse can be broken. The witch can be known. All I need is your help to loosen the witch's hold on me. They are strong. Stronger even than Amelia. Than any other witch you've hunted down before. You speak the truth? As truthful as your expeditions are noble, sir. I swear, I will help break this curse of yours and rain hell upon this hidden witch. They will rue the day they set eyes upon Vegafoyer. What would you have me do? The... the first step to r removing the curse? Yes. Uh, the painting! M my brother's painting from the schoolhouse? What does a painting have to do with your curse? It's... Uh, it's a charm. To keep me from speaking, the witch has hidden charms throughout the town. I've tried to gather them, but no one would believe me. Fools. They know nothing about witchcraft. Y you believe me? If anyone else had told me, I would have been skeptical. But I've seen you acting strange. I suspected you were a witch, but now I see that you've been learning to fight back. I admire your resolve. Um, thank you? I shall procure the painting from the schoolhouse. As for you, gather the remaining charms. As of today, I hereby appoint you Witchfinder in training. Do not disappoint me. Have you come to torment me as well? No, schoolmaster. I would never. I was looking for the witchfinder. Has he been here? Are you daft? What am I saying? Of course you are. Look around you. This is all his handiwork. He barged in, demanding the painting I sold this morning. You sold Finn's painting? Yes, and I will gladly tell you whom I sold it to. 
I don't need another petulant pest threatening to tarnish my own classroom. It was bought by Mr. Schulte. I have no doubt that brute is off haranguing him. Thank you, schoolmaster. I always knew there was something off about you, Schulte. No amount of coin can save you now. Ah, there you are, child. Perfect timing. See to it that this scoundrel is locked up back at headquarters. Me, sir? I'd do it myself, but I have to say and catalog the bodies. There's no telling how many corpses he's got here. I'd say enough to earn a trip to the gallows. That reminds me. I found this during my inspection. Once I'm done here, we'll discuss our next move. Stay calm. Almost there. I don't suppose I can trouble you to untie me now that I'm incarcerated. A wise decision. You wouldn't want to upset the Witchfinder. I'm sure he's paying you handsomely to assist him. If it's coin you're after, I can offer more than him. It's not like that. Don't be coy with me. For the right price, people will do anything. What's yours? You have nothing that I want. Don't I? Ask yourself this. Do you think that a man of my position would spend his nights digging up graves? You had a room full of corpses. Perhaps. But who said I was working alone? Wouldn't it make sense that I would hire someone to do it for me? Someone desperate for a bit of coin? Someone in my employ with a husband and a daughter to feed? My mother would never do such a thing. She's capable of more than you can imagine. I'll prove it to you if you untie me. You won't even have to open the cell. That's better. Now tell me, does this look familiar? I've completed my mission. What of you? Is that the final charm? Are you ready to reveal the witch's identity? The curse is getting stronger, and it seems like now Mr. Schultz is afflicted by it too. The curse still binds my tongue and prevents me from revealing the identity of the witch, but it compels Mr. Schultz to spout lies and nonsense. Nothing he says can be trusted. She's lying! She's only saying that because her mother's the one who made this whole operation possible. If you condemn me, you'll have to do so as well to Joanna. This is awful. I, I never expected the curse to afflict Mr. Schultz. He's even feverish. We probably shouldn't get too close to him. Interesting that the curse isn't being passed on to me. Your amulets and hollowed position must be shielding you. But we have to act quickly. If we don't get Mr. Schultz to the mental asylum, there won't be any hope for his salvation. I will go to the physician and see if he can break the curse, or at least help prevent it from afflicting anyone else who interacts with me. Then you and I can reunite at the Juniper Tree and I'll be able to tell you who the witch is. All right. I've already sent the physician to Mr. Schultz's house. You should head there, then. Back inside 
that room. There should be one in particular of interest to you. By heavens, you startled me! Look away. Still here. It's okay, Marlene. My heavens, I... are you okay? I'm so sorry you had to see that. I I'm fine. I'm okay. There you go. Stay strong. Reunited. Soon. The Witchfinder knew to warn me about Finn. He knows what Finn looks like, and more importantly, that he's dead. Should the Witchfinder see Finn walk amongst the living? Is everything okay, my dear? Yes, but I might need to ask you for help. Well, how can I help you, my dear? So, I was recently made a Witchfinder in training. Oh! Yes, the Witchfinder recently deputized me. Problem being, even with the title, I'm still cursed. I know of a witch running free and unrestrained in Vegefer, but I can't yet reveal the identity of the witch. My heavens, a, a curse, you say? That is a problem. I thought you seemed... off. In fact, I was sure of it. Yes, of course I will help you. We can do the examination at your house. No! I mean, I really can't talk about the curse with anyone else. The Witchfinder and now you are the only two people who know about it. Wouldn't want to alarm my mother, poor thing. Father's already in poor enough health as it is. Hmm. Well then, how can I help you? It's complicated, but I have to rebury Finn at the juniper tree. Again, I can't say why, because of the curse, but if we lay Finn to rest there again, I will be able to reveal the identity of the witch. You certainly are in a complicated position, my dear, but if I am the only one who can help, so be it. Thank you. I didn't know who else to turn to. Marlene, good news. Mr. Schulte won't be causing anyone trouble anymore. I've just seen him off to the mental asylum for good. So, I see we found the witch. Found the witch? Where, Marlene? What is going on? Name him so I may enact justice. What? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? Like I told you, I couldn't reveal the identity of the witch until we were at the juniper tree. As you can see, it's pretty obvious what's happening. He's fallen victim to madness, brought about by dabbling in the dark arts. I think he's beyond help at this point. I mean, he thinks he can compel you into believing you're the true witch instead of him. That is a bold-faced lie. How could I be the witch? My entire life is built around being a witch finder. There's only one way to prove your innocence. Bury these here, and if nothing happens, it will prove you're not a witch. I'm tired. 
Binder. This is madness. So, what's next? The witch finder, or I guess the previous one, didn't exactly use the most even hand when it came to seeing justice done in our town, so I figured I should go back and undo as much damage as I can. Now that it's up to me, what should happen to Joanna? I mean, should we... should I? No. This... Her living with the fear of comeuppance for what she did to me, to us, is an infinitely more fitting punishment. And if she does get out of line, she'll be in good company at the mental asylum. You know I wouldn't let anyone hurt you, right? No more murders on my watch. Same to you. Now let's get to work. 